<laughs> yummy, but not really yummy. Okay, I love that. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to another week of Blind Wine Tastings. Thank you so much for coming along. And of course, always a massive thank you up to Sometimes Always. All the wines that we review are coming up. You can actually access on their website, unless they're sold out, because a lot of the stuff that we review is actually pretty small batch or really limited edition. But let's get into it. One. I don't know what this is. Uh, first one up, red wine this week. Uh, almost like a brick tawny going on and smells incredibly savory. Could be like uh, Pinot or um, Syrah. Quite whole bunchy, pretty bright. There, there's a little bit of, there's a little bit of a farty reduction uh, thing going on. Uh, nothing to be too alarmed about. Oh God. <laughs> I don't want to say burning, but burning. It's a little bit burning on the way down. Uh, I don't know if it's harshness or if it's acidity or what the identifiable thing is, but it's just going to spat everywhere as well. This is going horribly. <laughs> Really quite delicious wine. I hope it's not too too radically expensive. It's got like this kind of nice bitter finish. I think this wine's gonna be setting me back around about 40 bucks and I'll probably buy a bottle. I do think this wine's going to develop in the cellar really, really well. Um, at this stage, it's looking a little bit sort of disjointed, a little bit, you know, juvenile. Really cool wine though. like the color of it, it's this really nice sort of bright maroon. Yeah, again, nothing too bleedingly obvious by looking at it. It's pretty light. It's, oh man, it's really sort of primary fruited. Given its color, it's actually quite, uh, it's just a little bit disjointed. I'm not too sure what it's meant to be. Can't say I'm over the moon about it. I think there's just not enough fruit character here to really make it that delicious and intriguing and exciting. Um, but I like it. Um, Again, not jumping off the, not jumping out of the glass at me and saying drink me. Uh, I'm into it a little bit, but it's quite dry, uh, a little bit acidic. Not quite as acidic as the first one. I do, I do prefer it to the first one. It's a little bit lighter. It's a little bit flat. That's really what I'm tasting. I'm not sure if it's bottle variation or it's just needs time, or it's just like a not the most thrilling really wine. Hopefully, it's like a really nice little bistro swaffer. But I can't say I'm like over the moon for it. But. <laughs> All right, unfiltered white or orange territory. Could be like a light skin contact. Probably has a little bit of skin contact. That's really bright. Uh, that's cool. That doesn't smell like, um, doesn't smell like there's heaps of oak in there. It smells really fruity, really uh, crisp, like a really crisp fruit. I think this is a real hands-off producer that knows what they're doing and they're doing it with a lot of integrity and a lot of intent. This is a high quality example of that. Elevated BA again, stemmy. Tanniny, tannic. <clears throat> Hasn't got heat, like there's a little bit of that tartness that you want from a white wine coming through. Oh yeah, nah, this is, we're back. We're back on stuff that I like. This is great. I'd probably grab two bottles. I'd like to revisit that one. I hope it's around $35. Yeah, really cool. Yeah, great wine. Wine number four, wine number four. This one looks like it's got a little bit more of that orange color to it. Uh, I'm not sure if that's more aged or if there's gonna be a little bit of skin contact in there. Who knows what these things are. Again, not a whole pile of bits floating around. It's a well-kept individual. Mm. Oh man, that's fun. I'm thinking like Pinot Gris and like Sauvignon Blanc. Wow, oh, that's really pretty. Oh, that's, that's great. Got this awesome like grippy phenolic structure, nice like tingly, like lively acidity. Like it smells a lot like Riesling. I know like four grape varietals, so like I'm gonna keep guessing those four grape varietals and there's a good chance that it's never gonna be them, but Riesling. It's really, really well crafted. Really, really well crafted. It's like a skinsy salve or something. And I'll be willing to drop 30 bucks. Um, and I'll grab three bottles, I think. Um, yeah, I, I, I'd, I'd enjoy this on a, on a good warm day. This is this is a delightful one, actually. That is that is the that is the perfect little descriptor of this wine. It's just delightful. Yum, that smells amazing. Oh my God, yeah. Those first two, unlucky. This one's come in and trumped you. Oh wow, this is rich. <laughs> this is decadent. This is a steak dinner. Oh, it smells awesome. Firstly, I definitely think this is Syrah. Mm. Watch it taste like shit now, but it smells great. It smells fantastic. This is whole, like really nice whole bunch Syrah. 
doesn't taste like shit. Smells great, tastes great. That's fantastic, love it. The execution of this is pinpoint perfect. Um, I am very impressed. It's got this cool like herbaceous edge to it as well though. That's really quite, a, quite lovely. Uh, 55 bucks uh, and I would happily grab a dozen of that. That's so far a wider lineup. I really hope this doesn't break the bank, but I'll, I'll grab six bottles of that. Um, it's one of those like, you know, whoosh, whip it out and share it with everybody. Um, I want to say maybe 40 bucks, but The last wine of the lineup. Uh, again, we're looking at a darker color, a little bit more vibrancy in the purple hue and spectrum. Nice and deep too, really blue fruited, um, violets, all that kind of thing. Mmm. Based on the weight and the color of this, I want to go with Pinot Noir because I recently discovered that I quite like Pinot Noir and I quite like this wine, therefore it probably is Pinot Noir. Kind of giving me Bordeaux vibes, like really ripe Cabernet. God, that's pretty. God, that's pretty. Juicy, deep, black-fruited core. Ah, oh, yum. I don't know, for me, the expensive wines tend to have bells and whistles on it. This doesn't have heaps of bells and whistles. It's just nice, clean, and drinkable. I would part with significant sums of money uh, to, to get this. I'm actually gonna go hard on this. So I am, um, I'm gonna say that this is $90, uh, and I think it is, it's come from a A-grade vineyard. It's been handled incredibly well. It's impeccable in execution. Cool, uh, so, new week of wines, new person in the middle. I've been promoted or demoted. I think Brendan just wants to be able to keep a closer eye on me from the left-hand side of the screen. Uh, the other thing is that now, when I pick up the bottles, I'm not gonna know what the hell's going on. I'm gonna get reactions on these sides, which is gonna be interesting. So, let's start out with wine number one. I, I agree with you, I think it did really ramp up, but wine number one, what did you guys have? Uh, I had it as a $40 bottle of wine and I had acid question mark. What do we got, Logan? Yeah. How much was it? $40! Oh! On it. Got on it. it. I, was, I want to know what the variety is on this one. This was really cool. Hey, there we go. Very nice. So we got, right. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen this guy before? Owen Ladder? Owen Ladder? No, yeah. I haven't. Not in the yeah. flesh. <sighs> yeah. So. Cog Hills Cream. Well done. Yeah. Pinot Noir. Uh, so, I was big on the next one. Wine number two. Interesting. You were really big on this one as well. I wasn't. Neither was I. I, I, I dropped a... Uh, Defend yourself. To what, what have we got? No! Oh, Chet's here! Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Chet! <laughs> and what was it? Oh. Pizzini! So it's oh, like a nice. Sangiovese. Yeah, Sangio. Cheeky Victoria. little Sangio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great! I mean, it's Victorian just Sangio. good little rustic pizza wine. I think this this is a good example of Westport for choice. Uh, this is good value. And wine number three! What do we got? Uh... Okay, yeah, look, I'm a big table slapper, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh! Oh! On fire! Oh, love and life. No, absolutely love and life. It. What is this? Oh, what is this? Dude, it's Italian! Once again. Dude, oh, what's nailed going it! On with Noah, why am He's I just sitting in the switching middle? switching it on at the moment. Cool label. Alright, uh, wine number four. Uh, I was into this one. I was, Same. I was heaps into this. What do you think? Uh, I was a moderately. I was like, ah, oh, yeah, could, could, could take it or leave it. I thought a generous three, three bottles, uh, thirty bucks. What have we got, Luck? Great! Nice. Woo! That's awesome. Yeah, right. We okay. know, we know he's. Oh my he, god. We know he's stacking up. Is it? Oh, great stuff. What have we got? This oh, is, is this blind, a, corner, uh, blind corner. Sauvignon Blanc, I believe. Is it right? I picked it as Sav too. I picked it you a sec. just said Pinot no, Green. No, I did. <laughs> Roll with that. Good stuff. Wine number five. How'd you guys go with it? I oh, was this way. I was loved it. it. All loved over it. it. Yep, into it. Uh, I want to drop 70 bucks. Ooh. How much is that costing us? Two. Ooh. Nice. Really impressive. In the ballpark. Look at this guy over here. Is I want $70. Yeah, man. I think it's fantastic. Hey, there we go. Yeah. Well done. Sure and Smith. Great. Absolute. Absolute. Just class. because it says Sharon Smith doesn't mean it needs to be made fun of. It's delicious. It is fantastic. <laughs> that is Shiraz. such a classic example of it. I'm lucky you guys said Syrah, Sar so close but no cigar. <laughs> close but no cigar. You should have finished that rhyme off, bro. Stop! Oh, Finally. Gosh. Now, I don't know if we've had... How, how many bottles of this last wine did you want? I wanted, I think... Did I put... I think I put down six. Let's double check. Uh, six bottles. Uh, we one haven't one had does. a clean sleep of 12 yet. And I thought one this does. might have been the one because I was super into it as well. Yeah. What? How much are we paying for it? Whoa! Yeah. Hello. This is really good. This is really, really, really good. What is that? Uh, what is that? I have no idea. That looks intriguing though. That is, it's definitely Italian. What is it? Bacchus. Bacchus. Pecanno, um, Montepulciano and Sangiovese. Amazing. That's really Amazing. cool. 
No. no, none of them were more than fifty dollars. Great job. And all the wines are really good and exceptional value. That blind corner, orange in color. Well done. This also fantastic. That's been a really exciting week, guys. Uh, I think there's for me there's nothing more exciting than finding bargains, and there's some absolute bargains in here. So. Yeah. Link will be down below. Stock up. Uh, thanks, as always, to sometimes, always, anytime, always. Uh, there should be a question mark there sometimes, and it should be sometimes, always, all the always, time. Always. <laughs> sometimes, always. <laughs> Big Never shout not. out to those guys. Make sure you grab some bottles of wine off them because they're huge supporters of us. Supporters of us. See you next week. Thanks. <laughs>